this video is about proving the circle theorems. So in each case, we're going to have to explain step by step why the rule is what they say it is. So in this case, we've got to prove that the angle subtended by the arc at the centre is twice the angle subtended at any point on the circumference. So we've got to prove that the angle in the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. So the first step in doing this is we've got to draw a straight line. Let's label the points actually. A, B, C and we'll do O in the middle. So we're going to draw a straight line that connects O to B. And then what we've got is we've got three radii here. So they're all the same length because they're all the radius. Okay, then we're going to just label our angle. So we're going to say AOB, we're going to call that X. And we're going to call BOC, we're going to call that one Y. So we're just going to do let AOB equal X, let BOC equal Y. So we've just late, we've just called them X and Y. So now we've got these two angles here, they're the angles that are based from an isosceles triangle. So angles in the triangle add up to 180. So we've got um, BAO and um, ABO. So what are they equal to? So we need to do 180, take away X, and then we have to half it. So 180, take away X, divide by 2. So this angle here is 180, take away x, divide by divided by 2. And we can do the same on the other side. So BCO and CBO. So BCO and CBO. They are 180, take away y, and divide by 2. So 180, take away that angle and then half it because there's two angles. So now we know, or well, we've got a name for, all of these angles. So angle ABC, the one at the circumference, ABC, is this plus this. So we've got 180 minus X over 2 plus 180 minus Y over 2. So that's our angle ABC. And then when we simplify that, we're going to get, so if we half all of these, so I'm going to get 90 minus half an x plus 90 minus half a y. So I'm dividing each term by 2, which is going to give me 180 minus half an x minus half a y. Okay, so that's the angle ABC. That's the one circumference done. Now we're going to look at what the angle down here is. So what we've got is we've got um, angle AOC and it is equal to, so it's this one here, 360, take away X, take away Y, because the angles around the point add up to 360. So 360 minus X minus Y. And then what we're going to find is this one is twice this one. So 360 minus x minus y is equal to 2 times 180 minus half x minus half y. So therefore we've proved it because this is 360 minus x minus y and this is 360 minus x minus y. So, okay, prove that the angle subtended by a semicircle is a right angle. So, prove that the angle subtended by a semicircle is a right angle. So, let's again, we'll go to the center O, A, B, C. And then we'll connect O to B and create this. Three radii are all equal. So 
we've again got the isosceles triangles. Then we're going to have x and we'll have y. So let a, O, B be X and let B, O, C, let that one be Y. Now, we've got, let's say what this one is. So we'll say A, B, O, A, B, O, and we get, again, we've got a nice isosceles triangle. So we need to do 180, take away X, and then half it, because these two angles here are equal. So that's ABO, and we'll do the same with um, CBO. So CBO is 180, take away Y, and half it. It's the same thing on the other side. So another isosceles triangle. And then we can say what ABC is. So ABC is it's these two added up. So 180 minus X over 2 plus 180 minus y over 2. Again, we'll simplify it. So 90 minus half an x plus 90 minus half a y. And that gives you 180 minus half x minus half y. Okay, um, we've got over here x plus y. So we know x and y, x plus y. We know they are to 180 degrees. Why they up to 180 degrees? Because the angle's in a straight line. And then, let's say we half this. So, half x plus half a y equals 90 degrees. So, half an x plus half a y equals 90 degrees. And then, um, what we can do is we can... Let's look at this half x, half y here. So... This half x, half y thing, um, so we're doing 180 take away half x and half y. So it's taking away both of them, and half x and half y is 90 degrees. So what we're doing is we're saying, well, this half x, half y is actually 90, so we've got 180 minus 90, which is 90 degrees. Okay, prove that angles in the same segment are equal. So what we do for this one is we just steal another proof. So because we've already proved that the angle, if I can hit that, yeah. So the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So because the angle at center is twice the angle at the circumference. We've already proved it, so we just have to say that both of these are the angle at the circumference. So all angles at the circumference, at the circumference, um, are equal in the same segment. Proves that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So we're going to draw a centre run, which is around there, maybe. And then what we'll do is we'll join join there. So Right, so we've got the centre, we'll call it O, A, B, C, D. Okay, so we're going to have, let B, O, D, let B, O, D equal X, and we'll let, well, the other side of B, O, D, <laughs> other B, O, D equal Y. So this is, um, I put minor and major just to differentiate between them. Let that one equal y. So this one's x here, this one's y here. Now, x plus y are uh, around the point, they equal 360. 
So we'll keep on to that. Now, this angle BAD, BAD is equal to half of X because angle at the circumference, angle at circumference, is half the angle at the centre. And the same thing for BCD. So BCD equals half of Y. Again, the same reason. So we've got X plus Y is 360. So if x plus y is 360 and I half that, half x and half y from here, half x plus half y must equal 180. And this one is called half y and this one is called half x. So therefore BAD plus BCD is equal to 180. Okay, finally prove the alternate segment theorem. So what we've got to do to the alternate segment theorem is we've got to draw a diameter on. So we draw a diameter onto the diagram and we make ourselves an extra part of the segment. So an extra piece. <laughs> so we're going to prove that this angle here is equal to this one here. And therefore, because it's in the same segment to this one here. Um, so let's label every A, B, C, D, E, F. So we've labelled every point. Now, we know that we're going to make a right angle here. So A, F, D, A, F, D is 90 degrees because it is tangent and a radius. So tangent and radius make 90 degrees, make a right angle. And we also know that this one here is 90 degrees, don't we? So um, DEF is 90 degrees, angle in a semicircle is 90. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to label this one we want to find. We're going to call it X. So let's say AFE, let AFE DX, call it X. Then we've got this one here, so DFE equals 90 minus X. So it's a, a right angle takeaway, X is 90 minus X. Then we've got this one here, um, EDF, EDF equals X, because the angles in a triangle up to 180 degrees, so we've got 90 and 90 minus x, so that gives us 180 minus x, and to make 180, we need to add on x, so angles in a triangle, sum to 180, so that one's x, and because of angles in the same segment, that one is also x. So ECF equals X angles in the same segment are equal. Therefore, um, AFE is equal to ECF. So therefore, we've proved the alternate segment theorem.